hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be setting up my budget planner for the month of June and I chose to stick with the I guess like the original budget extension pack. I did not move into the new pack just because I was able to grab a couple sleeves of this extension pack for like a really good price. It was on sale. So I'm just going to start out with that. So as you can see, we are working with the month at a glance page and basically I just review all of my bills for the month and I write them down in that notebook that you see there on the left. And then I transfer all of that information over to the month at a glance. And there are some categories that I don't use, such as the uh, the home insurance. Uh, we rent, so we don't have home insurance. So I just cover that up with a small strip of white label paper. And I just switch it to pet insurance. <laughs> So <laughs> that's uh, it's pretty much how I make this month at a glance work for me. And yeah, so I mean, I know there's a lot of you that are turned off by this version of the budget planner. And that's basically how I make this work for my household. And I'm just going to quickly add up my uh, payment estimates here. And one thing that you may notice is that I did skip over the gas for the car and the groceries just because I like to see how much I'm actually going to spend out first for the actual bills and then what I have left over or remaining I spread out for the variable expenses. And as you can see I have a ton <laughs> <laughs> and I mean a ton of credit cards. <laughs> so that is the one thing that did get me into budget planning. Just because I needed something that was going to help me keep track of all these things. And one positive side that I guess I can say that came out of this whole quarantine thing is we have spent zero dollars in dining out for the last two months <laughs> oh you have no idea how much you spend on that <laughs> so that has been helping me um boost my savings and now the only other thing is things have been just a tad bit tight just because there are like limited additional funds due to lack of overtime in that but I will have to admit, like, we've been very fortunate to have an actual stable income. <laughs> so it gives me something to work with. So I'm just going to quick calculate this up here just to make sure that I got this correct. Because, again, this is what I call, like, the non-fancy part of budgeting. And this is, like, the bones. So this is the skeleton of your budget. So there we go. All right. So basically, I'm going to go to the monthly layout now. All those bills that you saw me put on the month at a glance, we're now going to move to the monthly layout. And I'm going to give myself a visual of when my payments are coming out. So all right. Now we are on to the monthly view. And I pretty much just start with the Happy Memory Keeping Dates and Holidays edition. I use this for the numbers. And I was thinking about going with those colorful dates. But, you know, these these ones here with the little flower wreaths, they're kind of speaking to me today. So I think I'm going to start with those. So let's go ahead and build our month. Which, uh, in one way, like this... <laughs> This is like a painstaking process, but that is the one reason why I like the undated extensions, just because like you can start any time. You don't need to buy like a 12 month planner, <laughs> which is what I had last year. And I mean, it worked wonderfully because it was already like made up for you and that. But the undated ones seem to be a little bit more versatile and you can 
tailor them to like your exact needs. So let's put these little colorful wreaths in. Look at that. Like I, I wonder if they planned for this to happen. It's making like perfect little stripes going across my page. <laughs> I don't know why, like this is making me happy. So <laughs> was not expecting that. So let's get these dates on there. Only 30 days in June. And look how colorful it is. Oh, just putting on the dates and it's already got the color pop. Oh, here we go. 30 of them. 30 stickies. <laughs> Oh, this is, I mean, this probably has to be the most tedious thing of setting up a budget planner. Other than the, uh, you know, actual focusing on your bills. You know, the thing you're supposed to be paying attention to. But this is, oh, there's Mr. Burt. Hi, Mr. Burt. Mr. Burt wants to budget. Actually, Mr. Burt's upset. We have some uh, kitties fighting outside and he wants to know what's going on. Yeah, so uh, once I get him out of the picture here, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring out this fun florals book, which uh, those eucalyptus leaves, those would match perfectly, but I really do want to use those in a spread. And let's see here, maybe I could use those. Those kind of don't fit. Those fit more along with the colors of the wreaths. And okay, so I did use a couple of those. I think I'm going to save those. I got the sugar and spice ones. Okay. Let's see here. You know what? These watercolor ones here. I think I'm going to stick with those. Because that purple one is speaking to me. He is huge. And I'm thinking this might be the only type of layout. That I might be able to fit this thing on. So... Let's see here. I normally do something fun in the corner where I put the month. But I think I'm going to put this guy here down below. So yeah, basically when I am setting my planner up, I try to put the dates on first so I know exactly what the calendar looks like. And then I do some decoration, which oh, this flower is just absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, I normally try to keep some decorations up there on the top and then I just overlay my month sticker which I know there was a page of months in this book but I might have already used them which <laughs> this book is like falling apart <laughs> look at the dates in this thing too okay so there's some mini dates too Completely forget. I don't even know what that's doing in there. Okay, so yeah, I used the months in this book already. So what else do I have? And I think I have a sheet from one of the other extension packs. I just have to dig through my stash and try to figure out where I put it. <laughs> oh, I should have planned for this. <laughs> I thought there was one in that memory book. I used it. So, okay, there we go. So, there we go. There's June. And you know, I I think I want another flower up there. So, uh, let's see here. Maybe I should spread that purple around. Or maybe a lighter pink. Is there a lighter pink in that book? Let's find out. Okay, so I'm going to use this purple one. And I'm going to let it hang off the edge of the page up there. And... I may, let's see here, I'm going to go ahead and snip this. Snip this off because I know that's staying up there. And I may add some of the berries. There was little berries on that flower sheet too. And trying to think, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I think that's good enough. So we will add June. So it gives me a way of like making sure that I know like, Hey, this is June's layout, but it adds a little bit of color pop to that corner. So let's see here. I'm just going to take this snippet there and I'm going to add it to this purple flower. So there we go. Spreading that color around looking gorgeous already. And okay. So 
I know I want to use this area because I don't really have anything for the top row. So I'm either going to put my account balances on this side or I'm going to put them down below because I always keep track of my savings accounts. And hmm, let's see here where to go to next. And oh, yep, more flower power. Might as well. <laughs> uh, and there we go. There's another one. Okay, so I think that's all the more decoration I'm going to do. Because, again, I do want to write in this thing. <laughs> and I'm just going to snip these leaves off. I'm just going to add them back into the flower book. Because those will go on to a future spread. Now, let's see here. I'm going to... Uh, i got so much sticker papers laying everywhere now. <laughs> Okay, so there's these unmarked little wreaths, and there's three bullets of them. I'm going to use these for my sidebar, because I really don't know what else to use them for, and I would hate to leave them on that sheet and just forget about them. So what can I track on this side? So the one thing that I did for the month of May is I was tracking how much I spent on HelloFresh and Dinnerly versus my groceries. And instead of tracking how much I spend, I think I'm just going to track if I ordered it or not. Because that is the one thing that I did notice with us returning to work, is that we've been relying more on the groceries that are actually in the fridge versus having them sent to me. And having a checklist like this, this is actually going to help me remember to look at the app since I'm not really ordering from them anymore. So <laughs> it's kind of like keeping track of your subscriptions. Because <laughs> uh, the last thing we want is to forget and have like a $50 box of food arrive at the door and then us be like, what? What do we do with this? So yeah, I'm just going to make a quick checklist here then that way I don't forget. Okay, so meal planning is my first bullet. And I think I'm just going to darken up that title there just a bit. I'm loving these new pens. These are the uh, Tombow Monos. They are wonderful. And okay, so what can I do for a second bullet? And another thing that I did last month that I really enjoyed was I made a monthly budget challenge off of the Credit Karma challenge. And they had me focus on an account and make two payments to it versus one. So I think I'm going to title this as my focus card. Just because I want to say for the month of, yeah, like March... My budget just, like, took a downfall. <laughs> Which I'm going to have to say, I think everybody's did. So, <laughs> yeah, so we're kind of, like, recuperating from March. And April was basically non-existent. And I finally got my stuff together in May. <laughs> so, yeah, with that challenge... Which, I wasn't even planning for this, but I actually ended up paying this account off. And this spreadsheet was made through the Stebit app. And it's a wonderful app. It is free to use. And you basically just stick your accounts into it. And it makes this beautiful little spreadsheet for you to follow. So, my next account, using the snowball method, would be my cap P. So I'm going to go ahead and make that my focus card. And of course I'm going to make the first payment. And then I'm going to make a spot here to remind me to focus on a second payment. So hopefully I can get that account paid off super quickly. And that would be one less one to figure, you know, figure out every month. <laughs> Which I seriously can't believe. I ended off paying off an account last month just because I made a second payment. And, like, it wasn't even planned. It was just like, oh, pick an account. Make a second payment. And I was like, oh, okay. And I went on to do it. And it was like, <laughs> can't even can't even make the full second payment because that's how close it was to being paid off. Like, come on, man. Like, I should have been able to do that myself. 
<laughs> and okay, so another thing that I got from that challenge, which like be sure to check it out. It is literally my May uh, budget monthly challenge. It's in one of my prior videos. It, I mean, the layout was absolutely gorgeous and it was super fun to complete. So another thing that I did learn from that was to review all of my subscriptions and cancel accordingly. And for last month, they had me pick three that I didn't need and I was able to save approximately $20 for the month on things that like we were not using. Now for this month, I'm only going to pick two and it's going to be a little bit tougher, but something tells me that I still have subscriptions that I'm paying for and I think I need them and I don't. So yeah, yeah, we're going to keep a closer eye on that. And now I'm bringing out the Mega Brights. To me, these colors match the date stickers just a little bit better. So let's see here. And uh, I love these books. I do. But they are just bulky when it comes to planning. <laughs> Trying to fit all this into a screenshot is like non-existent. And then I can never get these triangles out. I always have to use the knife. <laughs> and they blend into that page. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and try to take these little triangle stickies out. And I'm going to put these down on my monthly layout. And these are going to be the actual accounts that need to be paid on or by those days. And like I said, I have a lot. <laughs> so this is going to be a while. <laughs> but I love the ombre effect. <laughs> like so many colors and you know after started you know I started putting them on the sheet it's like the little triangles remind me of petals so I, I don't know maybe it's just me maybe I've been inside for like a little bit too long and <laughs> still feeling the effects of staying at home so all right so like for example like this one here this is going to be my capital payment so I have a cap Q and a cap P and let's see here i have boost and heating due on this day and the other thing which i mean i'm not really thinking about right now but you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and put these triangles on first but i need to figure out what days i get paid <laughs> <laughs> it's on here somewhere which i'm thinking it may be the fifth so i may have to move those over but I mean, we'll, we'll get these things put on here first and then we'll figure it out. So uh, let's just keep doing what we're doing. So many payments. Seriously, like, I cannot wait until there's only like 10. That would be beautiful. And Bert is back. <laughs> Which, oh my god. Like, if I would have kept the like background sound on this you guys would have been laughing because there are cats just freaking out outside <laughs> okay back to the colorful triangles and okay so we are almost done we're making it to the 20th which the majority of my bills are in like the first two weeks like i seriously just get pounded the first two weeks <laughs> It is the toughest time. <laughs> Which I actually was not aware of before I started uh, budget planning. I just always thought that like I was overspending or something. Because, you know, the one thing that you never want to do. But I would always have to rely on credit cards by like the middle of the second week. Because I literally had no funds left. So that is one thing that I have gotten from making a visual of my bills by using the monthly layout just because I'm able to like see it like firsthand. Like you just open up the page to this and you look at it and you go, oh my God, like <laughs> I owe how many bills for what? <laughs> so yeah, I promise you we are almost done. These are like my main utilities. They come at the end of the month. And I think I just have like four more accounts now. So 
let's see here and I do want to add my paychecks and I think I was right yeah so okay I know that those two are due on the fifth I know they are so I'm just gonna go ahead I think I'm gonna move those triangles over to the sixth and normally when I do pay my bills it's by the entire week so these aren't gonna be late now, if you know that you're someone who, like, does have a tendency to pay your bills late, like, by no means, don't move your bills over. Like, you would have put your paycheck on Saturday instead of Friday. <laughs> but I pretty much know. Like, the one's an automatic payment, and then the other one I have to pay out. So, I mean, if it's on that week, I normally pay them Monday through Sunday anyways. It's just easier. <laughs> so, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and put my little piggy down here. And these are my savings accounts. So I got to go back to those little triangles. And I have four separate types of savings. Let's see here. I'm going to have to line this up a little bit with that purple. Maybe move it a smidge down. Okay, so I have one was for education. So that would have been between me and Ray. And the other one is my emergencies. Then I have my IRA or retirement savings, which, again, it's like nothing big. I mean, I have a pension plan at work, but I just started this just, you know, I mean, it's $10 a month. Rack that puppy up for 40 years, and we will see what we got. And the other one is my actual savings goal, <laughs> which was going so well. <laughs> It was going so well January and February and then March hit and it was just like oh so yeah I'm trying to play catch up here with this thing which I'm kind of hoping I got a feeling that June is my month I mean I end up with it's a bonus this is supposed to be my bonus month we will see when it actually appears in my checking account and I am still waiting on the IRS <laughs> is one of the things that got me behind in March. I counted my chickens before the eggs were even laid. <laughs> Never do that. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to take all of those accounts that you saw me list on that month at a glance sheet and I'm going to enter them in now. Before I forget what all these triangles are for. So I'm just going to go ahead and write all of these in. And then this way I know for sure. Like I could just open this up. Look at it and say. Oh got to pay bills 1, 2, 3, and 4 by this date. Or they're going to be late. And we don't want that. So this is going to let me plan accordingly through the month. Which by the looks of it. That first week is going to be just a tad bit tough. <laughs> Because, like I said, it's it's like an onslaught for the first week. <laughs> what do I have? Two, four, six, eight, ten. I got ten. Ten bills due in week one. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Gots to get these things paid down. And, okay, so these are the two that I'm switching up here. I think I'm going to put that second capital payment there along with my savings. So if I can get that put aside early on in the month, it's more likely to occur. And okay, so another thing that I did notice is that I am tracking my HelloFresh and Dinnerly stare off to the side, which granted that's going to be me checking off that I skipped it. So that should be zero dollars, hopefully, that I remember to skip. But I did not put my groceries on, so I'm just going to use these little carts here and that's going to help me keep track of what I spent on groceries which I think I had set to 140, right? 140, 120, 120. So it better be $40 or less. <laughs> Good luck to me, right? <laughs> All right. So now I'm advancing to the bill pay checklist. And I know you're probably like, why are you writing down, you know, your bills so many times? Like, is this necessary? And the answer is yes. Yes, it is. Because now this is going to give me a way of 
writing, like recording the actual amount that I spend. So on the month at a glance, that's kind of like your estimates. Some bills, you don't know when you're doing your monthly budget. So you just do a high estimate, which I've learned to do. And then that way, whenever you do go to pay it, like maybe you have written down that you're going to, you know, put it $50 down for, and it turns out you only need 35 So, you know, then whatever excess you have, you either use for things that you need or you just keep it in a reserve account. And then that goes into the savings at the end of the month. So here we go, keeping my checklist. And since these two are additional, I'm going to like kind of section them off by themselves. And of course, I have my Capella payment. So I think I'm just going to double check here. But I think that's everybody. <laughs> Again, there's so many bills. <laughs> and I'm just going to put this back into the planner so I don't lose it. I almost forgot to punch out that extra sticky. And okay, so there we go. Actually lined up the holes. Yay! And okay, so let's see. I got that completed. I still feel like there's something missing on that monthly. I do not need this extra bill pay. Like, oh my god, can you imagine that if you had that many bills? Like, if you do, I am so sorry. <laughs> That is a lot. And I used to use all those expense trackers. Now I only need one. I'm lucky if I make it to like 20 lines now. So this is great. And yeah, that's what I'm forgetting is my no spend tracker, which I try. Like, granted, there's going to be like one or two days out of the month where you just give in. I have yet to do like an entire month of where it's like, you did 30 days of no spending. So... <laughs> If I can, like, limit this thing to, like, where there's, like, two or three days that I spent, that is great. <laughs> because I used to spend every day. So, yeah, we are making great strides here. So, I'm just going to give you a quick summary now. Because it looks like we have everything set up and ready to go for June. So, let's get that into view for you. So, I used the Mega Brights. That's where I got all those little triangles from, the little checks, or well, I guess cash stacks and piggies, and the no spend. Then I used a happy memory keeping dates and holidays, and the fun florals. So all three of those combined gave me this beautiful layout for my budget planner. And I also used these wonderful Tombow mono pens. They are size 1, 3, and 5. I just, I love the writing consistency with these things. They're like my favorite pen style. So uh, there we go, guys. We are ready for June. So I just want to close out by saying thank you so much for watching. I do greatly appreciate it. And happy budgeting to all of you. See you next month.